hey guys in today's video i'll be showing you how to do multi-level sorting in excel but before we do that we are going to do i'm going to show you how to do single level sorting so single level sorting is whereby you sort your data based on only one column so that's single level sorting and then multi-level sorting is where you set based on two or more columns so here we have this data from a sales department and it has four columns the month the first name the sales and the center so if you want to do single level sorting on this kind of data you just sort by one column so in my case i can sort by the sales because i probably want to see which was the highest sale made within the period of january to may and which was the lowest sale so to do that you just click on any cell within your data and then you go to the data tab and then you'll select um, the sort in the sort and filter group you'll select z to e which will sort from largest to smallest so this column will be sorted from the largest cell to the lowest cell so if i click on that it has sorted my data so you can see the highest sell was made in april by ashley and in the west center and then when you scroll down the lowest sell was made in the month of march by lawrence and in the west center so this is single level sorting so depending on the kind of data you're working with you'll be able to know which column you want to sort with so when it comes to multi level sorting say for example with the kind of data i have i can decide i want to see the breakdown of every salesperson from january to may how they did which month had their highest sale and which one had their lowest sale so when it comes to multi-level sorting i'll sort by two columns because my data set is very small i can only sort by two columns so i will sort first by the first name and then the cells so this has to be done simultaneously because if i sort first by the first name and then I, I go again and sort by the cells the data will be mixed up so you have to do it simultaneously and luckily excel gives us the option to do that so what you're going to do is you're going to just select any cell within our data and then you'll again go to the data tab and you'll select this big sort button that's here so you click on that and it brings up this dialog which will allow us to do the sorting simultaneously so for the first level we will do sort by the first name we'll sort by the first name and then the order will be from a to z and then the next thing after this is to sort by the cells so we will click on add level and then click on this drop down and you select cells then at this end we select largest to smallest so this will sort according the sales people alphabetically and then it will also show their cells from the highest to their lowest cells for each cell person so when you click ok it has sorted that so you can see ashley is the one at the top followed by george gloria and so on and then it shows her cells from her highest cells to her lowest cell for each month so for example if i highlight all of ashley's records you can see that her highest cell was in april and it was over 290,000, and her lowest cell was in march and it was 74,000. so from that sorting method it has done that for all the other sales people as well so for example i want to see like in this period of january to may like which salesperson had the highest like total sales so i can create a subtotal for each of them so what you have to do you just select any cell within your data and then you still go to the data tab and you go to the very end and you'll see subtotal so when you click on that it totals up the cells for each sales person and under it it will display the total 
their total cells. So let me just show you. So when I click on subtotal, it brings up this dialog. So at each change in, I want it to be at each change in the first name. And then I use the function because I want all their cells summed up. I'll use the sum function. And then you add the subtotal to the cells. Because that is the only numeric column we have so i add the subtotal to cells and then the rest of this will be just is but if summary below data has not been selected you have to select it so that after all the records of ashley there will be a subtotal after all the records of lawrence there will be a subtotal and so on so you click ok and it gives us the subtotal of each below so let me expand this so you can see. So it has given us Ashley total, George total, Gloria total, Lawrence and Scott, and then also the grand total. So I'll expand this. You can see the complete amount. Yeah, so this has actually helped you to like sort your data and also analyze it at the same time. 